Today we're going to look at the validity of certain statements. Validity simply means whether it's true or false. And we're going to check out how the validity of a conditional statement relates to the validity of its converse, its inverse, and its contrapositive. Let's start with this conditional statement. If the game is soccer, then it's played with the ball. That's a true statement, right? Now let's form the other three statements. First, the converse. Next, the inverse. And then, the contrapositive. Now, let's check out the validity, or truth, of those three. The converse is false. Could have been a baseball game, right? How about the inverse? It's also false. For the same reason. And finally, the contrapositive. And what do you think here? True or false? It's true. Notice that when we check these out, the statement and the contrapositive have the same truth value. And the converse and inverse have the same truth value as well. So let's have some fun here and start out with a statement that we know is false. Something like this. Can we agree that statement is false? It sure is. Here come the other three. So let's check out the validity of each. The converse is true. The inverse is also true. And then the contrapositive. Well, let's see. If it doesn't measure 45 degrees, let's say it measures 60. Then it's not acute. Nope. That one's false. And checking out these truth values, we see that, once again, the statement and the contrapositive have the same truth value. And the same thing for the converse and the inverse. Okay, so here's one for you to try on your own. And it's true. I'll go ahead and get you started with the converse. Now you go ahead and form the inverse and the contrapositive. Then check out to see if the same thing is happening with the truth values. Here you go. I'll just pause here while you figure it out. I hope you discovered the inverse and contrapositive were True. Is that what you got? Good. Which once again indicates that the statement and the contrapositive and the converse and the inverse have the same truth value. So we're going to summarize by making a little chart here and start filling it in. Like this. Going down each column. I'm going to fill in two of the blanks with a T or an F, meaning true or false. And your job is to fill in the two missing blanks in that one column. Here come the answers. Let's try the next one. You fill in the question marks. What'd you get? How about these? Agree? All right, here come the last two. And remember, you're working down the columns. 
You go ahead and finish them up. All right, let's see how you did. Looks like you did all right. And that chart represents every possibility. So, it looks like you're good to go. See you next time.